hey guys welcome back this is the fourth part of our lecture number 63 from our bootcamp series in this lecture we will discuss about where query method this is uh, mostly used query method and uh, we need to understand it very carefully and deeply so that we can write uh, better queries in rails so let's try to understand first that what a uh, where query is or a where method is so a where method returns a new relation which is the result of filtering the current relation according to the condition in the argument the where method allow you to specify condition to limit the record returns representing the where part of the sql statement okay for example what does it mean here that uh, let's say if you do student dot all and you will get uh, the collection of a student okay which might be unnecessary to load all the student in the database but suppose if we want to list the student uh, who has name first name as ravi so what how we can write this query is student dot pair first name ravi So you can see that we pass a value here, okay, and we limit this result of the student table or a student relation, okay. So since we have only one student with first name Ravi, if we have multiple student or more student with that name, then we can have uh, two records or multiple records, but not all the records. Why? Because now our where query will return only the re records which are matching this condition okay and you can write this query like uh, in this way as well student dot where first name equal to question mark and after this question mark let's say Ravi. You can write query like this as well okay but uh, make sure that you do not provide the values directly into the query okay you always need to provide values like this uh, that uh, let's say student first name now provide the value here let's say ravi and in query you need to do it like student dot where first name equal to and write a comma here and just use this variable okay this is the correct form of writing your queries or if you use this hash condition then this is the good way to write this query okay so here you can see because uh, you should not provide direct values in your where condition because this may lead to sql injection or and can cause threats to your database and other than this query you also need to be care about that you should not uh, write the pure string condition in your database just like let's say student dot where if you write query like this first name equal to zero. now this is syntactically totally fine and you can get the re record here as well or the collection here as well but in practice this is not preferable and must be avoided because the pure string conditioned queries always lead to the sql injection and can cause threats to your database so try to avoid this kind of uh, where queries and just prefer either this if you want to use a string then just add your uh, condition predicate logic in the string and then provide the arguments out of the string and either use the hash condition that is both the ways are much better rather than providing your condition logic or condition query in pure string okay now where can also work on a collection as well or on a range as well for example let's say student dot where id now one two five okay sorry 
okay so now here you can see student dot where one dot dot five it means it returns me the five records okay and you can see the sql query that select star from students where student dot id between some first character of the range and this is the last character of the range okay now you can do same query with the array as well let's say student dot where id and provide a value of ids here the array of ids here let's say this okay now you can see it returns with the same uh, collection okay same number of records but you can see the difference in queries that uh, when i provide the hash uh, range condition it gives me select star from students where student dot id between it runs the between okay but when you provide the array then it runs student dot where student dot id in and then in queries it matching the in operator okay and you can use this with uh, without hash condition as well let's say where id in now you can provide one two three four five here okay and it will run this query or you can provide the range here as well where id in one two three four five now both the queries are same both uses the in operator or in query not the between okay so this is the way that you can perform where queries and limit the number of records in your resulting relation okay and here you can see that if i run this where i get an active record relation instance which is also a table or which is also a relation so i can perform further queries on it for example let's say if i want to find find two it gives me the record with id two if i provide find seven then it gives me an active record record not found exception why because i am trying to make a find query on this collection not on the student table in the database but this collection contains only the records of the students which has id between 1 and 5 okay or between or from 1 to 5 but i am trying to find an student with id 7 which is not exist in this relation so that's why i am getting an error here okay so this is how you can understand it that whenever you perform a where query you always get a relation active record relation and on that relation you can chain your query methods or you can apply further query methods on that okay now but if you do it like let's say student dot first and you will get so a single record and now if you get a student first dot class then you will get this is the student class okay now if you try to find the class of the where record then you can see it has the class student active record relation that means so whenever you run a where query you will get an active record relation instance okay so this is all about uh, a brief information all about uh, where method of the active record query and we can write more complex queries using this uh, where clause and we will definitely write when we go deeper into the our course project when we start building features there and start associating data and we try to get uh, a student from courses and courses from students and all that when we perform these complex operations when then we perform where queries in much broader way but uh, just for a brief insight i think this is good enough for now okay so you can try this where query at your end on different models as well okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture with another part of this lecture number 63 till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe